Yeah. And, you know, after, you know, that thing went down and, you know, after our one-on-one interview, uh, it seems like by the end of, you know, 2019, um, you know, there were things that kind of was worked out, you know, kind of like behind the scenes or something like that. And where I came to the basic conclusion that Leo Santa Cruz is being set up to be an opponent for Gavante Tank Davis. Um, and I pretty much like thought that before Tank Davis had his fight against Yuriokis Gamboa. So they were like setting all of that up and like leaving you off, you know, basically to the side or something like that because they didn't want to, you know, have any parts of Mr. Gary Russell Jr. in that case. Now, we know what's going on with Kavate Tank Davis. I'm not going to go into any technicals about that. Maybe some someone else may call in and talk about that. But um, there was another person that did um, call your name, and that was a Mr. Tevin Farmer. Uh Correct. The at the time the IBF Super Featherweight Champion, but um, as of last Thursday, he ran into your former opponent, Mr. JoJo Diaz, and uh, ended up losing that IBF uh, Featherweight title. Uh, so, it, yeah, it seems like yo know, all of these guys are kind of having some problems when they, once they mention your name, man. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty. I mean, they call me the boogeyman of the boxing right now, you know. I'm the boogeyman of the sport of boxing. I'm one of the most feared fighters right now in the sport of boxing. No one is willing to fight me. None of these champions are willing to fight me. The only guys that's willing to fight are these guys that have everything to gain and nothing to lose. You know, they're just willing to put it all on the line because, you know, if they lose, then hell, I lost to the best one of the best fighters in the world. And if I win, you know, at least I, I probably shocked the world, you know. But none of these other champions are willing to put it on the line and take the initiative or take the risk to step in the ring with me. You know, um, after this fight, I definitely plan on moving up and wait. It was nobody at 130 that I wanted to compete against. I was planning on jumping 130 and going straight to 35, you know, because I wanted mm-hmm. to put myself in the weight division with a. Uh, Devontae St. Davis or of a city number team, so I definitely want to rematch with him. And I felt like the only way I'll be able to get that done is by putting myself in the same weight division as these guys. You know, um, the mm-hmm. only reason why I would have stopped at 130, it would have been specifically for Tevin Farmer if he would have beat Jojo Diaz, because once again, I'm one of these fighters that would answer the call if someone said they wanted to fight me. 